Mm. It's the season to start thinking about lamb. So today I'm showing you how to make a delicious lamb roast on the barbecue. The technique that I will use makes your Easter dinner the best you've made so far. For today's cook, I selected two beautiful lamb shoulders, around 1.7 kilogram, which is a little over four pounds. They have been grass fed, locally grown, absolutely gorgeous. Now it's time to start preparing them. Before I start seasoning these lamb shoulders, I want to inspect them and make sure we don't have big fat caps on them. These lamb shoulders look absolutely beautiful and they don't need any trimming. There's a little spot of blood on the backside, which you don't have to worry about. We're going to trim that off with our knife and discard it. Now we'll drizzle on some olive oil, rub it in with your hands, both sides of course. Sprinkle on fleur de sel salt, mine has been out for too long and I need to replace it with some fresh salt. This is way better. Of course we're going to do both sides as well and make sure you have plenty of salt. When you are applying such a large amount of salt to your meat, you need something to help it stick. Olive oil is perfect for the job. During the cooking process, it will render off and all there's left is meat with a little bit of saltiness. Now that our lamb is seasoned, it's time to fire up the barbecue. Filled up the barbecue halfway, lit it up and waited until the fire starters were burned down. Now we'll put in some smoke wood, put the heat deflectors in, put the grill grates in, put the lamp shoulders in and close the lid. We're going to set the temperature at 140 degrees Celsius, which is around 285 degrees Fahrenheit. We're going to open the top vent until the first stripe. The bottom vent will also open two fingers. This is the perfect setting for us to control the temperature. If you're not getting high enough temperatures, all you need to do is open the top vent a little bit. I let my lamb cook until it reached the core temperature of 92 degrees Celsius, which is 198 degrees Fahrenheit. Now we're going to wrap it in paper and we're going to put it in the cooler and let it sit there for around 30 minutes. Waiting for our lamb to rest gives us a great opportunity to start working on a sauce to go with our lamb. And this time we're making a salsa verde. I start by taking a handful of flat leaf parsley, which should not be mistaken with cilantro. Cilantro tastes completely different. Don't switch these two up or else you're gonna be sorry. Now I'm going to chop the parsley as fine as I can with my big knife. I know I'm exaggerating with this knife, but I really like it. Time to add one of my favorite ingredients. I'm going to add two cloves of garlic, which might be a bit much for most people, but since I like it, I'm going to add two. You better add one. I'm taking the skin off and I'm using a press. This one is horrible and I don't even understand why they make garlic this size. If garlic is smaller, it's much easier to handle. So I'm just going to cut it up and I'm going to let nothing stand in my way of making this delicious salsa verde. I love the sweet and sour pickles and the way they boost the salsa verde. Chop and chop and keep on chopping. Cut a lemon in half and squeeze both sides into the jar. There's absolutely no sensible reason to do it this way. Just use a fruit juice or something and don't spill everything and make a big mess like I did. Add around five tablespoons of olive oil. You want to use a good quality olive oil. It makes all the difference for the flavors. Now you know it's not going to be a traditional salsa verde when somebody pulls out the old Mr. Lee Perkins's Worcestershire sauce or as many of you prefer Worcester sauce. Now we're going to drip in around a tablespoon of that and we're moving on to the seasoning. I'm going to add a pinch of salt and a lot of fresh ground black pepper. Seasoning is a personal thing. So you want to start out with a little bit of seasoning and then mix it up, try it, see if you like it. If you want to, you can add more, but this one is perfect as it is. shoulders turned out fantastic. We kept it honest, 
just a little bit of salt and smoke and four hours of heat. What more do you want? It looks absolutely amazing with that salsa verde to give it a little bit of color. Man, I can't wait to dig into it. But Morrison, you get to try first. Really? Yes, you do, buddy. Mm. Mm. Oh, Denise, I hope you don't like this because mm. it's good. It's good. Not really for me, but I get that you really like it. It's better than I thought, yeah. Nice and tender. And the lamb flavor is there, but just a little bit. Can I taste the sauce? Mmm, garlic. I like it. You wanna eat more? <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> Can I? Woohoo! Well, look, big chunk of meat like that, a bit of sauce on top. And that is how it should be done. Man. I really like how the smoke flavor and that little bit of saltiness from that lamb meat are so honest and so true. But then with that salsa verde, it just becomes a dish on its own. The salsa verde is breaking down the fat in the lamb. What a great combination. And this is what I love about barbecue. If you guys enjoyed it and if you enjoyed this video, then please let me know. It's the first one in our series of getting a new vibe into our video. So Give us a comment down below if you enjoyed it. And we want to say a special thank you to our patrons and YouTube members. You guys freaking rock. And I know I say it every time, but it really, really means a lot to our channel. So, see you guys next time. Until then, it's my look. That's right. And keep on grilling. This lamb is freaking awesome. <laughs> it used to be mad all over the place. Oh, oh. oh yeah, I'm cheating, man. I'm cheating, man.